Dylan Waterman. You're all set, sir. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see, you are from West Warwick? Yes. And you come to Providence to go through red lights, huh? I was bringing my grandfather to my aunt's house, and I didn't want to go on the highway because it was raining, yeah. and I can't see. You were bringing your grandfather? Yes. Was there a special event, or was it just a visit? Um, he was down for like three or four weeks, so I was just bringing him back and forth from Seekonk to my house so he could see everybody. Oh, he's from Seekonk? Um, no, he lives in Florida right now. Oh, he lives in Florida? Yes. Oh, okay. So, when he's down, I have to make sure he sees everybody. <laughs> Are you working? Yes. What do you do? I manage at Sonic on Balto Road. And what do you do? You're the manager? Yes. So you're a manager and you're a chauffeur? Yes. Right, you chauffeur your grandfather? <laughs> yes. Your child's are going through a red light. We're going to take a look at it. Do you remember this? Yep. You do remember it? Okay. And your grandfather was in the car? No, I was coming home. Like, I already dropped him off and I was going to work. Oh. By this time. Oh, so you, you, didn't, you did not endanger his life then? <laughs> no. Okay. He was already safe. Now, during this, do you have many conversations with your grandfather? Yes, does every he, day. Does he give you life's lessons, you know? All the time. Yeah, well, he does? Yes, yes, he does. Like, for example, give us an example. What does, what does he tell you? Oh, he told me I should have stopped at the light. I told him about this, because as soon as I ran it, I knew I ran it. No, I'm not I know he told you not to go to a red <laughs> light, but what kind well, of life lessons does he give you? Save your money. Save your money. Yes, to make sure I'm set for life, but make sure I take care of him. More people should listen to advice from their elders. <laughs> yes, I should. There's only, there's only one way to get experience. <laughs> right. You don't get it in a capsule. No. Nope. Right. What do you think, Inspector Carrigan? Your Honor, she's guilty. I just, uh, I had the heart a little while ago, it's just gone now. <laughs> no, Your Honor, you can't even see the signs in this, Your Honor. The, the signs are obstructed also, where it says, um, if Lisa put back the video on. How many grandchildren does your grandfather have? One, two, three. There's six of us, but then my mom has a brother that's not his, but he still takes those kids in. So there's like yeah. 12 of us. Yeah. You know, grandfathers, uh, I, I can speak from experience because I'm a grandfather, obviously. Hmm? So I said grandfathers have a special place and yes. a special feeling toward their grandchildren. Yes. You know, uh, so I know that I, I, try to give my, I try to give my grandchildren advice. I think they listen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure they hear. <laughs> <laughs> There's two different things, listening and hearing, you know. Yes. They say so. But I'm very fortunate that they, uh, that they conduct themselves in such a manner that's made me very proud. You know, they've all gone off and done wonderful things. So listen to your grandfather. I will. Based on the uh, recommendation of Inspector Carrigan, my matter is going to be dismissed. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. you.